Okay, so Jeff Bezos's rocket went up in the air today and came down, and I don't know, I found it was kind of like, ugh. it was actually the female crew of uh, the Blue Origin that went up, and everybody was talking about it. I didn't really want to talk about this today just because I felt it was kind of like, ugh. Um, there was only one person that was a NASA scientist on it. That's a picture of the, the female group. I'm not calling them a crew because it's not like they did anything. There's only one person who was an actual scientist, a former NASA scientist on it. And people like Gail King and uh, Lauren Sanchez, I think, Jeff Bezos' girlfriend, and a couple other influencers like Katy Perry was singing on it. And I don't know, I just felt like it like cheapened actual work that scientists do like do they do any experiments what was the point of doing this i understand that they're trying to say that you know space flight is now attainable to normal people but it's like i don't think these women actually understood what they were doing to themselves so like 60 years ago was like the first flight that was only women it was like a soviet or russian astronaut who went up into space and in like a, I think it's called the Vostok, um, vehicle. Anyhow, so this is the first time in 60 years, so that was an achievement, yes, but it's just like, do they care that they've now exposed their bodies to a higher risk of cancer because of ionizing radiation? Like, radiation, that's something that actual astronauts have to worry about. I mean, might not be a lot because they're only up there for maybe like 10 20 minutes but you know you have exposed your whole body to like cellular damage <laughs> by doing this i think that they paid like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which is pretty attainable to regular people but i don't know just the fact that there was only one scientist and everybody else is like there for amusement you know and just think of all of the energy and the pollution that was created by this all of the fuel that has to be used to get these people up into space how that has probably damaged the environment just uh, i don't know yeah i was just kind of like Ew. you know what's that mean brother <laughs> I was sitting there thinking that, like, when I saw it. And then just the fact that they were so cheesy when, like, Gail King kissed the ground when she got back. And then, like, I think uh, Katy Perry was like, oh, I feel another connection or something like that. I have to see what she said exactly. But it's just like, oh, my gosh, why do you seem so cheesy now? I mean, I think it is a great achievement that they have a flight that can be more commercialized now so people can go up and, and experience space like that in a spacecraft. But it's just kind of like the whole purpose of that was supposed to be a study so that the astronauts could do experiments and things like that and we could learn about what's happening. So the only thing I could think of is maybe it is an experiment on these ladies' bodies to see how cellular damage affects them, like short-term damage or short-term space flight, how that affects a human body. Because, I don't know, maybe they have to do blood tests and stuff like that when they get back. That's the only thing I could think of, that like maybe they are doing an experiment on the human female body to see how short-term space flight affects them. What do you think about this? Did you watch this?